Veronica Taylor, probably best known for playing Ash on Pokemon, and you're watching Poke Collection. Hey everybody, welcome back to Poke Collection. I am back with this Pokemon Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. Not the Pokemon Center exclusive ones, I haven't started ordering those in, but do you guys want to see me get the Pokemon Center ones in? Let me know if you're keen to see those ones. Um, they vary just by a few booster packs and certain items that you get in there, and also the artwork that you get on there. If you want me to see, if you want to see that on my channel, feel free to let me know, otherwise I'm going to stick with the original ones because it's hard to get stuff down here for uh, New Zealand, but I will try it, I can try it. They do look really cool, they're very interesting sizes as well, um, slightly bigger than what I've seen these normal ones come out, but um, yeah, let me know. Um, but yeah, I've got here the original uh, Elite Trainer box um, of Pokemon, uh, the Celebration set, which of course marks 25 years of Pokemon. Um, you'll find all my Pokemon 25 Celebration uh, videos on my YouTube channel, just look up hashtag Pokemon25 in the playlist. Um, and you can also check out close-up images of all the products that I've been opening on my Facebook page and the photo albums. Um, just go to PokeCollection.com and you can visit it there. Um, so this set here contains 10 Celebrations booster packs, 5 additional booster packs, uh, a special foil card featuring Greninja Star Gold Star, um, and then we've got some really, you know, the usual stuff, which are like the 65 card sleeves, and this time it contains a Pokemon 25 logo, a lightning tail design, 45 TCG energy cards as always, player's guide, a rule book, um, damage counter dice, coin flip dies, acrylic uh, condition mark uh, markers, obviously a collector's box and four dividers, and a code card. So this is packed full of amazing treats and I'm ready to open it here right now for you guys and I'm really excited because this is probably the most amount of celebrations I'm opening in one hit or one sitting. So let's open this up. Ah, beautiful, I love this. Very nice. Um, and then, oh, oh, look at this, beautiful. Now normally I open this up. Um, I won't open it up in this case. Uh, not not now, um, but it does say train on in there, so you can use this as a poster. If you want to open it up, you can unravel it, and it does become a Pokemon 25 poster by the looks of it. Look at that, that's cool. Um, normally they use booster pack artwork, which is why I'm not opening it this time, because it's kind of there's kind of no point. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we've got the player's guide here, which looks really cool. Um, and now that I've opened some of the set, I actually want us to look through really quickly what forms this set. In order. It's not a very big set, so um, but it's nice to see what we've got. So I've seen a few cards here. I've not seen the Mew Gold Star yet. Um, sorry, the Gold card. Um, oh, I haven't seen Dark Arrow. So here comes Team Rocket. Oh my gosh, there's so many cards still to see. Um, so I can't wait to grab them. I've got I've got some really good ones though already, which is nice. Uh, I really want to get the original trio, of course, and I want to get as many Dark Gyarados as, as I can, because I love Gyarados, and it's just nice to see some of the other cards come through as well, so we'll see. There's still a lot to go for Celebrations, so I think um, I will be opening quite a few Celebrations cards, um, card sets for a while, I think, so we'll see. Alright, so I'll put that there. Nice, and if we have our beautiful train on 20, Pokemon 25 Celebrations um, box here which is nice and feels so good uh, it's got that sort of velvety touch to it very cool don't use greasy hands just saying um, very cool and it opens up like that lovely okay so we've got our rule book um, so we all know that well most of us do and then I'll give you guys a closer look at all the other goodies so let's look at the central stuff first we got our usual damage counters, so that's your status counters, uh, and then we got our dice or die. So that's the set symbol. Very cool. Sort of clear, clear dice with yellow, yellow dots, and then we've got um, the damage counters here. Which are white dice die with with red writing on it. So I'm just going to keep this side. I normally sort out my dice and put them together with all the other things that I've collected over the years um, with the ETB. So I'll sort that out later. 
Okay, so let's see what we've got in here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, we've got everything there. So we've got my TC code card, which I'll redeem. And then we've got our energy cards, looking cool. And then we've got our really cool dividers here. Pokemon 25 dividers, and then on the other side is really nice. So that's really cool. Really good, great to store our cards in. And then these really, really sexy looking sleeves. I love these. Those are super cool. I feel like I'm going to use these for the celebrations cards. I feel like that's the right thing to do. And of course, we've got some exciting stuff here. This is the Greninja Gold Star, which I'm going to keep sealed in this. Um, really nice condition, really nice centering, really nice card overall. It looks awesome. And this promotional card is number 144, and it's exclusive to this Elite Trainer box as well. So if you're looking to get that, definitely grab hold of this box, and you will be rewarded. Okay, and that leaves us to, finally, the booster packs that we get in here. So let's unveil all of that. Okay. Okay, so we've got, let's put the celebrations in one pile, and then so we've got five booster packs, we've got Vivid Voltage, two Darkness Ablaze, um, one Battle Stars, one, one Chilling Rain, okay, cool, and then we should have ten celebrations packs as well, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, great. So we are set to go. Let's train on. All right, let's start with the original booster packs. This is my favorite part. I love opening it all, but now it's down, down to the cards. Heart of the cards. Okay, so we've got Ursaring, Rose Tower, Simicia, Dunsparce, Clink, Marini, Torchic, Starly, Hydrogen, Rare of there, sorry, whoa, <laughs> tongue tied there. Uh, and then a Scavalier, which is our rare. It's a Charizard pack, too. Please behold the Charizard for me. Alright, we've got Laron, Simipore, Spike Mooth, Squovet, <laughs> looking really happy there. Diglett, oh, another Squovet, that's cool. That's weird. Doesn't normally happen. Shelmet, um, Panpour, a Pokemon Breeders Nurturing Reverse, and a Beatic Rare. So nothing from from Darkness Ablaze today. But the show goes on. Onto Vivid Voltage if this pack decides to open. There we go. Should we see that? Okay, so we've got Dewot, Ferrothorn, Caralus, Chatot, Joltic, a Cottony, Mudbray, Slugma, a Joltic, Reverse, and... Oh! Colossal V! Very cool. I love that. Alright, on to this year. Or well, 2021, anyway. Watching him from the future. Battle style. So we've got Fan of Waves, Doppler, Dublade, Bronzor, Tepig, Pachirisu, Mindfu, Baltoy, Aglarian, Mr. Mime, Reverse, and a Vivion Rare. So mostly just rares there. At least we've got a V that broke up the piece of paste there. And then Chilling Rain. Okay, it's the last of the old school packs. We've got Curlia, Fog Crystal, Brawly, Porygon, Heracross, Sobble, Squovert, Inke, a Welcoming Lantern Reverse, and a Gallade. So mostly just rares from those packs, unfortunately. But let's move on to these beautiful packs, shall we? And let's hope 
that there's some glorious stuff in here. I can see why they made this sort of just a smaller pack because everything's a hollow really in this set. But can you imagine how not rare anything would be if, if you had 10 cards in a pack? That would be lovely. That would be super cool. Alright, so we've got Solgalia, Zekrom, a Cosmoem, and... Oh, here comes Team Rocket! Team Rocket's Rocket! That's awesome. I'm glad. I was just talking about this. I love this card so much. It takes me back to Rocket. I've opened a few boxes of Rocket. Just makes me so happy just going back in there. Honestly, I wish I could go back to my 20s, early 20s when I was opening these stuff. When I first started Pokemon, Pokemon Collection, sorry. But also back to my childhood days where these cards were just everywhere, honestly. Uh, if I was young enough and able to buy all these boxes, I would just love to open a pack. Oh my gosh, this is not... Okay, so we've got Lunala, Zekrom, a Lugia, and we got a ho -Oh. That's very cool. I like that we got all of those. Um, I should actually, I don't know why I've put them there. I need to put them in this pile, make sure I sleeve them. Ooh, Pikachu, Full Art, lovely. Xerneas, Kyogre, and a Dialga. So it looks like there's a slot for the Pikachus, which is the last one, or Super Rares, which is the third one. On the back, from the front. We've got Lunala, Dialga, Cosmoem, and a Cosmog. I'm, I am taking my time with these cards because they, they're just enjoyable to open, so I'm not rushing through them or anything. Here anyway, we've got Professor's Research, Xerneas, Cosmoem. Oh, Birthday Pikachu. Very nice. Sorry, I, sh I can't. I need to look at what I'm actually showing on camera, by the way. I'm really not. Doing a good job of that. Okay. Oh, nice. We got a Pikachu full art, standard, the uh, original art. Uh, Cosmog, Groudon, and oh, another birthday's Pikachu. Yes. I don't. Re okay, so maybe you do get like bonus cards. You could get super rare cards and. The Pikachu line. I thought that wasn't the case. So that's my theory going out the window. So yeah, basically the third slot or the second card from the back is always gonna. It can be a super rare card or it can't be. Uh, but the other cards will be. What am I saying? I'm saying that the second card from the back could be rare, while the others are just whatever. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, right, so we've got Lunala, Cosmog, a Noveltal, and a Palkia. Okay, so we've got three more packs to go, so let's... Come on, Charizard, let's... let's Give me one Charizard. I missed Charizard and Darkness Ablaze. I missed Charizard and Shining Fates. I only got it in Champion's Path, and this was like a year ago. So, come on, Charizard, it's due... It's time. It's time. Even if you're not going to be worth that much, and I don't care about that. I just want a Charizard, because I don't want to be paying prices that people want to put on it. Okay, ooh, we've got a Zacian V looking furious. Cosmoem, Kyogre, and a Xerneas. Very cool. Okay. 
So we have Professor's Research, Lugia, Cosmoem, and a ho -Oh. Right guys, so that leaves us with one last pack, which is very weirdly bent here. Must have got squashed. Hopefully the cards are fine. Yeah, the cards are good. Alright, so we have a Solgaleo, Groudon, Reshiram, and our final card. Ooh, it's a Claydol though! That I haven't seen, and I still got this is from Great Encounters, the Diamond and Pearl series, but it's also um, a promo card, a uh, promo, like a league promo that I've got as well, which is really cool. Very nice. Okay, well that, that's not a bad that's not a bad pack to end because I haven't actually got this. So very cool. But Venusaur and Charizard still evade me. So does Dark Gyarados, Shining Magic Carp. There's so many cards to get from Celebrations, and there's still more to come. So you guys, I hope you stay tuned. Hopefully there'll be no audio issues this time. <laughs> Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.